Hi, in this video I will show you one way you can generate animations with different frame rates in Pixelab. First thing is you want to make sure you set a reference image. This image should be a general image of your character as it will be shown to the model throughout the generation as guidance. Feel free to try out different reference images. In my own experiments I have found that an idle position works very well. So you can try out that first. Once you have generated something you like, you should edit and fix the image as much as possible for your next generation to be better. Uh, what I'm doing here is that I'm using the new number of frames and start frame to uh, interpolate between the uh, furthest step in the animation and I'm setting the number of frames here to 7 so that the model knows that the animation should be 7 frames and there should be a frame in between. But in this case 7 isn't the correct number so I'm gonna redo it with 6 frames. The difference isn't very big but it's good to see that both works but uh, I would recommend having the correct number of frames. Now, to generate the next leg moving forward, I personally prefer to uh, first use a low number of frames, just to get like the extremes of the animation, and then I do the interpolate thing to get the frame in between. So here I'm doing what I did in the first uh, generation, and then I'm gonna take the last frame in the uh, animation, and then I will have empty frames in between, which means that the model will only edit the image in between, and the first, second, and fourth image are set in stone, so the model can see all three of them and use them to help it create the third image. Don't be afraid of trying different weights, different number of frames, starting frame, or just doing the previous method of always generating from the last frame and then just deleting bad generations, keeping the good ones and piecing everything together. We do give a lot of extra generations and so you have a lot of room to play around and try things out. So don't be afraid to take some risk. The best way of learning is practice. With the animation complete, I'm just going to make some small edits and you will see the final results in a bit. If you like the video and want to see more in the future, remember to subscribe and uh, feel free to comment, like or dislike if you didn't like it to help the algorithm promote the video. And thank you and I'll see you next time.